Hi, Omega Chaos here again with another episode of Dual Links with Omega Chaos. So now in this video we're going to be playing in the KC Cup and also with a new deck, my Dracuity deck. So we have been uh, waiting to uh, build a new deck in Dual Links and now it's finally here. So I'm playing Draconicus with the Kaiba character because the Kaiba has the skill beat on and you can actually order key very easily in this deck. Um, so yeah, so I guess uh, let's start to add. So let's see how it's going to go. So I've been kind of away from Dualix for a while as well. Like I said, I kind of got bored of it because that the uh, a 5 days world launch wasn't really that great as I thought it would be because there wasn't really any new decks I was interested in so I pretty much collected gems and uh, waited for the right time so finally we got this deck to create this uh, which was one of my favorite decks to play uh, back in old times in the TCG and whatnot so let's activate Card of Consonants, discarding my Tronity Phalanx and then draw 2, pretty good. I'm going to normal some Tronity attacks. I think in this game Tronity is actually better going second, uh, but I think this is fine as well. Unfortunately, I don't have Stardust Dragon uh, uh, right now. Now of course I could only access it with uh, USA skill, but a problem with that of course it also adds in two chunk synchrons to the main deck which completely screws up the consistent consistency of the deck. So right now we have to do that. I think first time we can go for the, the Green Knight Cable. That's a pretty good play. Or someone, I think let's just skip the animation for now. And then we can end our turn. So let's see what my opponent is playing as well. I think I'm right now on like le uh, level 12 in KC Cup right now. I can play against droids. So I'm not that far enough in the ladder to play against like those very competitive decks like blue eyes and vampires and whatnot. But I think the way is actually really good as well. Okay direct attack. <clears throat> Not too concerned with that right now. And then that goes to the fence. So what I'm going to do is draw. Then I'm going to Noma Summon and Dragon the Oculus. And that allows me to spell someone the community minutum from my hand. And that allows me to do the do the probably the amount of main combos in the stack. So essentially in the DC she actually used a Dragonity most as a vehicle to summon out stars in assault mode. Of course, right now in this game we don't even have that card play but unfortunately Star Star Natal mode won't really even work very well in this game because of the fact that we only have 4,000 life points and once they beat out like my Star Star Natal mode negation they will just be able to attack for game most likely because obviously that's the way the game this game works so it's not like the game is still not super advanced but of course, uh, right now, uh, the city has it much worse in terms of bans. So I guess that's why um, Dwelling so is also very appealing to those who are kind of turned off by the current direction of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Which definitely makes a lot of sense. But I still like both quite a lot. And I just use Dwelling as a extra addition to my Yu-Gi-Oh! experience. I think we can just activate skill as well. 
Beatdown skill very important for the stack. So we'll first attack with that. And now to new need no need to activate effect. So now attack for game with uh, three knight Vasharara. So that's essentially the main play of the deck. That was pretty easy, so I think we can pretty much continue on. So let's see, I think we definitely need we're going to another dual. Okay, we're now in level 12 actually, we were in 11 first. And we got 150 gems, maybe we could do a small pack opening in this video as well. So we're gonna do at least like 3 duals at least. Oh, well, we got a bonus as well. No, of course. Okay, let's get those 150 gems, very important. But for now, let's do another duel. And I think at the end of this video, I'm going to do a small little tech profile as well. But of course, of course, the tech lists are going to be very standard, I would say, because there isn't really that much room to innovate. Because of the card pool being very small, and as well as obviously, the, you only have pretty, yeah, 20 cards to play with, so there are all definitely a much more few, fewer, cho fewer choices for sure. Okay, this hand is not great, at least not first. Turn. I think just going to do some three attacks and then we're going to end our turn. Yeah, one of the cards missing in this deck in Twilight is Dragon Rewind, of course, which is a really important consistency, consistency card for the communities in the real game, but I guess it will be a bit too broken in this, potentially. But we do have Divine Lands at least in this game. And we also don't have Legionnaire as well. Okay, I'm playing against Blue Eyes. Alright. Let's see what my plan can do. Of course, Blue Eyes is a, definitely a, a very competitive deck in, in this game right now. But I'm not sure. To finish my plan, but this is really that good. So I guess my plan might go for Azurite right here. Yeah, it seems like it. So it will be pretty difficult for me to get rid of it. Oh, he had the castle actually. Not sure why. Maybe my plant doesn't have us where I see that again. And the fiat spell as well. Not bad, all the fiat spell right now is pretty bad in blue eyes because of the fact that we uh, in two islands we don't have made them with the ice blue. And that is like a very important. Oh, is that it? Because of the fact that next turn I can do the combo and then it's game over with the it down skill, so I'm not sure what my player is trying to really do here. So, Aklevis, activate. So, we want the same combo. The Militum actually is really good in the two island expression of the deck. All I used to use it in the, in the real life version as well at some point. Especially when it was still when Dragon Rewind was still banned and whatnot. So of course going for the Green Knight Masharana. 
Sink or shock? Yeah, very nice. I'm going to activate effect, of course. Equipping the Dragoon Weekly upgrades to the trade. And activate effect. Yep, destroy the King Anti Castle. Then also activate the skill. And that's game over. So that's why you definitely need the beatdown skill to actually finish out my opponent in one turn. Pretty much had to level up my Kaiwa. So I didn't really play the character before. So that was that. Yeah, pretty easy to well so far, but once I get to like level 15, then I will definitely have some more programs. Because last KC Cup was so hard, which was my, of course my first one, was so difficult. It, uh, where I played my uh, Prophecy deck without Sign Magician at first, but then eventually had to get those Sign Magicians so I could actually uh, play. So I could actually get to level 20, which I did get eventually. Alright, so I think we do at least one more dual. Okay. <coughs> so let's see. What can we do here? Okay, if I win, I level up again, so that's very nice. Okay, this hand is pretty good, so I go second as well. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, in this case, what I'm going to do, again, the same combo. Darkless plus military. And then I have T Wine as well to protect, protect me from traps. That's pretty cool. Then activate Mutum's effect, of course. So, yeah, I think this deck is definitely is really good. For sure. It is can be pretty pricey if you, of course, wanted to pull it with uh, real money. I definitely don't suggest that. Just collect more gems and eventually you will you'll get your important cards. But it's definitely a hard thing to do. So, Synchro Shogun. Because, of course, you won't unlike that. This is she. Uh, pretty much all the decks, depending on the rarities, have the same price, essentially. Where you have to uh, get the cards from the pack, and you can't buy singles, and uh, there is no secondary market, so... Can destroy the face the monster? Oh wow, that's pretty crazy. Didn't expect that really, so that's definitely very surprising. But as well as one of the monster, a blue ice white dragon. But using the Yugi character for some reason. But I'm going to activate it at Demon Lands anyway. Then activate it. And level some weight as well. Oh, I'm not going to super summon right now. 
Looks like there's no need to. Especially when I have the wine lads still equipped. Just can attack with the blue eyes. And I'm gonna end my turn. Hmm. So let's see. What else my plan can do? Okay, I'll plant some monster. He's one guard as a dragon. Interesting. I'm not sure if that's really going to help if anything. Okay, both right. So when you got the blue eyes, white dragon. That might be a bit of a problem because it means I can't really yeah, destroy that one guard. Yeah, that's one of my own monsters for sure, including the blue eyes. Okay, great treasure strap hole. This one into Fox and blue eyes. Okay, it's my turn. In this case, going to know someone to win the ducks, of course. I think in this case, I probably will go for K bulk so I can finish out this duel. No, that's probably going to finish it anyway. I have no reason to believe otherwise. So we need to into this card. So yeah, pretty simple plays. Nothing complicated. Then I also activate the skill because why not? Because I can. Of course I'm not going to activate effect because I shouldn't really destroy that, so I'm going to attack with my keywalk. And I create effect. Vanish that. And then attack directly with Fasharan, so I think that's definitely game over. So that's that. So I think that's it uh, for dueling in this video. So I think three duels is enough for a video. And I think I kind of you know, showcased uh, the strategy of my new Dragonia deck in dwellings. I think I'm going to keep grinding the ladder. And I think next week we can actually I can showcase what I can do, what I do in the stage two of Casey Cup as well. So yeah. So in the meantime, let's do that small pack opening first, then we can show uh, show the deck as well. So essentially, with what the kind of is, <coughs> let's go to the shop. Stardust acceleration because we need that stardust. Although I would actually. I kind of want to have that second cause of consonants as well. So let's pick five packs. So it's a small backhook opening in this video as well. Okay, probably nothing in here. Okay, let's say a card strike. Not that great. I doubt we'll pull anything in here, but. I still have a lot of packs to go through to get actually to get that Stardust finally. <coughs> okay, definitely nothing great in here. Can you even pull a horror in here? Or like a Super Rare or Ultra? Okay, there is something. So let's pray for Stardust. Okay, probably not Stardust in here. 
Okay, Taka. Well, that's pretty terrible. So, unfortunately, nothing great in here. So, I guess right now, I think we can actually just to showcase our current Trekuni deck. So, what do we have in here? So, essentially, run three Trekuni attacks, of course, pretty much mandatory. So, essentially, they are as Super errors in the main box. You have to keep that in mind. And also, our Defunct, also super errors in the main box. So, go pretty hard to get. Of course, you have two each in the main box. You have to probably open up the, all of the first box almost. And then, uh, uh, probably a little bit of the second box as well. Then, Dragon Itama, uh, Missile Tine, only one copy. Then, uh, two, uh, a triple Oculus, of course. Of course, those are pretty easy to get, of course. A Dragon Tremoity Mileto, of course, many points for a combo and easy to get as well. One, because of constants, currently only have one, probably will run two at least. Three is probably not necessary, so I will probably still at the later. Hopefully, get this card, second copy of this card as well. Then, Triple Divine Lance, of course, really good. As a tech card, run one store because it works with Dragonic Oculus. A uh, lot of other, many other people play like uh, Cosmic Cyclone, or not uh, Double Cyclone, or something like that, but I don't really have anything that card, so I have to use this for now. If I decide to use um, it in the first place, and two treasure trap hole. Of course, the only trap you need is this, this is not really a trap focus deck. It's more of an OTK deck with the beaton skills. So I think you don't really need many traps in this deck for sure. And X deck, of course, you only need are allowed to have uh, five cards in X deck, so your uh, your choices are very limited. So I run one Blackwing Dragon because I don't have Stardust uh, right now. Stardust Dragon. So this kind of works as a replacement, that's pretty decent I guess. You don't really use it this card very often, but still pretty nice to have. And of course two Vajarana, it's an ultra in the in main box, so getting this might be very difficult. So uh, thankfully I opened up the first box, got this one of course, and then I opened up the second box and I got this one, the second copy, pretty early, so I was pretty lucky with that. Lucky with that. Then one. Kia Dark, of course, pretty good. You don't really use it, use it very often, but definitely nice to have. And then finally, Dragon Knight Cable, a very good card actually in, in two links, uh, just to uh, inflict a lot of lot, a lot of lot of damage, uh, and of course it's very easy to get as well. So yeah, that was my Dragon deck in two links right now. I definitely will keep playing with this deck in Kessie Cup, and hopefully I. I get uh, far, and I still have my uh, spellbook deck as a, as a backup as well. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, dual links video. Uh, for now, uh, good parent, Omeakios. Oh.